this way. Right? Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here. This one of your hunches, Anderson? Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From the lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night. Possibly nude. The killers knew he was here. Ambushed him. Dragged him to the campgrounds. Strapped him to the table. Cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? <clears throat> Haven't figured that part out yet. Mm-hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. I didn't know trees got that big. Gives me the creeps. You need to get out more. It is kind of creepy, though. A witch with no heart. A strange echo of owl murder. Hmm. There's a piece of paper on the ground. Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. I should profile Nightingale about this page. We found a page in the woods. A story about... I think he came from the lake, but his tracks make no sense. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Did you know this entire area is inside a caldera? This whole mountain used to be an active volcano. Imagine the force it took to carve this crater out of the Earth. Calderas are pretty rare, so be sure to take it in. So, essentially, we're standing in the gaping maw of hell. You got it. I used to love geology when I was in school. I helped Logan build a great baking soda volcano for her science fair. Cheating on a science fair? That's almost a crime, Anderson. I'm not gonna say no to quality time with hey, a volcano. You made it back. I mean, my daughter. Good. <laughs> I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure. But the coroner won't be back at back to the parking lot, just up the hill. Thanks. Let's get the car, drive to Bright Falls, and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Seems like a nice town so far. 
Murders aside, pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. Can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed, tripod, tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod for a camera? To record a, a snuff film? Maybe. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. Here we are. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. Hey! Just how much coffee have you had today, Charlie? <laughs> <laughs> don't know, don't care. <laughs> how much have you had? Not enough. That's how much. Never enough coffee. Oh, dear. Cute. Let me guess. The FBI. Welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Brinker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. I can't believe that happened. I still feel like I'm gonna be sick. On it. Have some pie. I'll take Excuse me. Things. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy and he's Ed. So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the... What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't... What were you doing at Colgen late last night? I'm a writer. True crime. The Cult of the Tree. The bookers were at Colgen Lake. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. Told you not to keep that thing, Timmy. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <laughs> like we'd even dream of missing dear Oh, God. Saga!
All set. My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D &D back in the day. The wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff! Looks like you have some guests. Ah, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. Always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible, but it's best not to take it personally. Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. I'll be right with you. Oh, this sir. is the Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Yep, yep. Anything you need, just, uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. 